Alright, on your screen you can see we have four different files. We've made the point file a little bit easier to see and the line file a little bit easier to see. Yours might be a little thinner if you load these files. Behind this we have a raster, this green and yellow gold type color and these black areas. That's all part of the raster as is the roads. And so we've done a little bit of editing on this raster, taking some information off the raster. And we're going to work on two different areas. We're going to work on modifying existing data. For example, that dot is not very close to where that dot is. So we're going to move that dot. So we're going to work on those type of things, get rid of some of the shape errors that we have here on the roads. And then we are going to also create new data. For example, these light poles over here on the bottom of this map don't have a back vector version of them, so we're going to create new ones. There's four different buildings here. Now, we're not going to do all four buildings, but there's four different buildings here that um, do not have their shapes drawn, so we may try to draw some of those shapes. And the road is not complete around campus, so we can do a little bit of work on the road also. We need to turn on the editor, so we're going to go over to the Customize toolbars, find the editor and turn it on. There's the editor. We're going to do the same thing and turn on snapping while we're here. So snapping's near the bottom of this list. There we go. Snapping's turned on. To start editing, we need to use the pull down on the editor and say start editing. Since all these features are in the same geodatabase, um, we don't get any other messages. I would like to see the attribute table. So we're going to turn on the create features and we're also turn on the attribute table. And if you notice down here on the bottom there's two tabs that we can jump between. So we're going to create a feature. Let's start with the point feature. And it's a point as you can see down here on the construction tool. Let me pull that up a little bit so it's a little bit easier to see. And so I'm going to come in here and I'm going to click on a point. Oh, that added a new point. Let's undo that. So we want to use our selector arrow. Forgot to click on the selector arrow, arrow there. I'm going to take that existing point, if I can capture it. So let's make sure we're doing what we think we're doing. So select the selector arrow here so we can select information. Click on it. There we go. We got it selected. I'm going to drag it over to where it should be. Do that with another one here. Select it. Drag it over. And so you can see that it's very easy to move points. Just got to select it and drag it over. Now none of this has been saved. It's all in temporary saving right now. But while we're doing this, let's look here and we're going to select the line. There you can see it's changed color. It's been selected. We're going to right click and say edit vertexes. And we can see the little green dots are the vertices. And when I go over one of them, you see my cursor changes. And I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to drag it so it's closer to being on the road. Same thing I'm going to do over here on these couple. These are a little bit off. So I'm going to drag them both more onto, onto the road, make things a little bit nicer. Click out of the area, and you see we unselected the road. And at this point, I could go over to the editor, and I could say, save my edits. And these edits would be saved permanently. Well, we're not going to do that right now, but that's how you would save your edits. So those are how you modify existing data. But you may also want to put new data in. So let's start with the point file again. So there we are at the point. We're going to select point. And I'm going to say, see that one right there. I'm going to put a new data point in there. I'm going to go over to the attributes. And I could put a value for that light pole in. If I go over and select another location for a light pole, Notice the top number changed to 19, and let's select this middle one here. We should have done these in order. 
obviously. And there's 20. And we could keep doing this and put all the light poles in. So you can see how you would do a light pole. We're going to go back to create features. We're going to click on line, say line. Now we want to make sure we connect this line right to the end. And I've already got my all my snaps turned on. You can turn them back off. Do you see here? But I'm going to turn them back all on. And when I get near the end of that line, I'm going to click. And so now my first vertex of this new line segment is exactly on top of the previous one. I make a click and can keep going. And so we've got a little bit of a turn here. So we're just going to do some clicks to get this road about right. You can see I'm getting the road in there. And when I'm done with the segment, I just double click and that ends the segment. That segment is selected. Again, we can go over and look at the attributes and we could give the, that segment a name. We're not going to do it again um, because I'm working with the actually live data. And finally, if I want to draw a new polygon, well, first thing, I selected polygon and I select down here polygon. I can have special types of polygons, but I'm just going to do a regular, irregular shaped polygon. But I need to get a little closer to that data, so I'm going to use my magnifying tool and I'm going to come in here and magnify a little bit. I gotta go back and select polygon where I'm gonna build. So I'm gonna just click on that corner and go up to there. Click and we'll come over and click again. You can see my polygons being built as I do this. I'm trying to be as careful as I can. I probably zoomed in just a hair more than I needed to. Click. Click again. We're down by the entrances. Click. We could do things like making sure these are at right angles and some stuff like that and making sure certain surfaces are parallel. But I'm just trying to do it um, to give you an idea how we add a new feature. And now that's the last point. And I double click on the last point and it finishes the polygon. Notice it has a selection line around it. And I'm going to come over to attributes and I could name what the building is here. That would be the student community building in this case. When I get all done with all my edits, make sure I go back and say stop the editor. If I say stop the editor and I haven't saved, it'll come up with a dialog box. Do you want to save your edits? And I would click yes, and that would make my edits permanent. So this is how you modify existing data by moving things around, and also how you create some new data.